On the money watch, recession, certainly a word we've been hearing a lot lately with the key economic indicator everyone was watching released today. The U.S. gross domestic product output fell for the second consecutive quarter. Our Chris Ty has been digging into the data and has an Econ 101 lesson for us. So, Chris, I guess you have three things we need to know and also a sliver of some good news. That's right, Joe. A big basket of information here. The leading economist from Visa telling CBS2 today that his level of concern for the economy right now is at about a four out of 10. He feels the pain is going to last months, not years. But as you mentioned, there may be some slivers of good hope from the pump to the produce aisle. We are learning that there are some optimistic stories in recent days. Slowly and slightly, these trunkloads of groceries are getting cheaper. Wholesale coffee prices down 5% since the start of the month. Cooking oil prices down 10% since May. Wholesale prices of Mexican avocados down 27%. I suspect prices are going to keep coming down, but they're going to remain uncomfortably high for a longer period of time than any of us would like. Contributing to these drops, a gallon of regular unleaded in Illinois last month was 543. Today it's 476, a drop of 12 percent. As always, Cook County 50 percent higher than that. 401ks taking it on the chin, chipping away at consumer confidence. But if you're playing the long game, this is a very good time to be a long term investor. At midday today, the Dow was trading at 32,500. Last year on this day, it was trading at over 34,000, a 7% drop in the last 12 months. Last year's white hot housing market has also cooled. People used to have two, three offers on nice houses, and now they're lucky to get one within a week, two weeks, three weeks. Why? In an effort to lower inflation, interest rates soaring, jumping Thursday yet again. NerdWallet shows the average 30-year mortgage comes with a 5.45% interest rate, the cost to borrow that money, of course. Last year at this time, it was 2.87. It's a 90% jump, which has created a stall in home sales. The interest rate jump has also led to car sales flattening. An economic reset with good news, bad news, and an end date that remains murky. Nothing is keeping this economy afloat more importantly than the employment numbers in this country. Very strong employment right now, though experts are concerned that moving into next year, there could be some weakness on that front. And one other thing, there are still families that are utilizing surplus dollars, stimulus dollars from the, the uh, of course, coronavirus pandemic. And those dollars are leaving the economy, which adds even more concern in coming months. Live in the Loop, Chris Ty, CBS2 News. Thank you, Chris.